everyone, Grant here, and welcome to The Fish Files. Now today on The Fish Files, we're gonna be talking about cichlid aggression. Now I know what you're thinking, wow, cichlids are aggressive, who knew, right? But specifically, what I'm gonna be talking about today is when that one cichlid, usually the tank boss, sometimes more than one, but usually the tank boss, just becomes absolutely out of control aggro. Nips everyone, scares everyone, doesn't let anything happen. You're not enjoying it anymore because all your fish are jammed in the corner while one fish roams the entire tank. I'm going to give you six tips on how to solve that problem, make your tank back to a nice, beautiful, scenic view that you love so much. All right, guys, enough talk. Let's get into it. Step number one, have an all-male tank or use the three-to-one which is three females to one male rule. Now, this is more of a prerequisite to the actual fish tank, because obviously you're gonna to need to know what you wanna get before you put them all in there. But obviously with African cichlids, it's hard to tell them apart when they're young. So often you get a big mixed array. But what you really wanna do is try and get an all male tank, like this one right here. They're all males. They're still a little aggressive, but not too bad, because they have no females to fight over. Or two, you do three to one, you get at least three females to one male. Now what this does is it allows the males to have their own group of females, as in they won't fight the other males for their females because they already have their own females. So this will lead to a more peaceful tank just because the dominance of all of the females trying to you know, mate and get dominance won't be as heavy when they have all their own females. Step number two is feeding multiple times a day. Now. Just like any other animal in the wild, they're gonna fight over food. That's survival for them, that's the bottom line. Get food, survive. So what happens in a cichlid tank, if you don't feed them multiple times a day, they get hungry, they want more territory to try and get most food possible, and they get aggressive towards each other. Now I'm not saying overfeed, of course, you do not wanna do that. What you wanna do is maybe give them smaller increments more times a day than just one big increment maybe in the morning or at night. Now what I do, I feed them twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. Now I, I give them about both even amounts, both times, try and keep it consistent, but in the long run, they'll be full, they're not starving, they're not fighting over each other for food because they're full and they have enough, so that'll reduce aggression. Step number three, move the decor slash tank environment around. Now what this does, is it doesn't allow them anywhere to gain territory. So if you've noticed, your one aggressive fish probably has a spot on the side of the tank or the middle, probably around something, maybe a rock, plants, whatever you have, some kind of cave that it's protecting because that, that's its area, that's its dominant territory. Now what happens when you move the, it around, let's say you place it to the other side, take it out, just move everything, mix it all up, this fish no longer has that territory that it's been guarding. So what does it do? It kind of resets everything. All the fish are back to like, no one owns anything basically. It's all just up for grabs. And this will reduce the aggression. It also is fun because you just get to move the tank around. Makes your tank nice because you get to every few weeks maybe, switch it around, get a new decor set up, and your fish will be less aggressive. Step number four, separate the fish. Now, what does this mean? This means take that aggro fish and either put them in a different tank if you have one, or if not, maybe get one of those plastic terrariums, put them in there inside the tank, and separate them from the rest of the fish. Now what this does is they have a pecking order, and that fish, most likely, if it's that aggressive, is at the very top of that pecking order. And what you do when you take them and separate the fish, it alters the pecking order. There'll be a new dominant fish to the top of that pecking order. And if you leave, let this happen for a few days, and then introduce them a few days later, that fish that was the dominant fish is no longer the dominant fish. And it'll be less aggressive as the other dominant fish will take over. Now this isn't perfect, hopefully that new dominant fish isn't as aggressive as the old dominant fish, but either way, it'll change the scenery around a little bit and reduce the aggression. Rule number five, get these fish in a larger tank. Now, I know that's a lot easier said than done, but a larger tank gives each fish more room. More room means they're more spread out from each other. More spread out means less aggression because they can each have their own individual territory easier than if they're in a very small jam tank. 
And I know that's a lot easier said than done. I know if we could, we'd probably all have 500 gallon fish tanks. I know I would, I'd probably have a bunch of them. But that is definitely a great solution to solving aggression. As number six, if all else fails, you might have to get that cichlid a new home. Now I know none of us want to get rid of our cichlids. We love our cichlids, grow attached to them, they're beautiful. Who doesn't love them? But if there's that one fish that won't stop harassing all the other fish day after day, just beats all of them up, nips all their fins, has them all terrified, controls the entire tank, you know that you probably have to get rid of that fish. Hopefully these tips will help you go back to a nice beautiful tank with the aggression diminished. That's what we all want. We all love cichlids, but we know there's a price to pay for them, aggression. Now I hope these tips will help you come back to a nice, beautiful, non-aggressive tank. All right guys, if you like that video, smash that like button, subscribe, comment, and thanks a lot for watching.